in the Carolina Kitchen today, a simple recipe to warm you up inside. We see how Brenda Anders makes cheese soup. Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Brenda Anders, of course, with Dogwood Crafters, is back with us, and we're glad to see you today. Glad to be here. What are you doing? It sounds like amazing. <laughs> well, since we're having another little cold snap, I thought I would show everybody how to do a really fast uh, soup. And what you do is you boil in one and a half quarts of water, uh, two and a half cups of diced uh, potatoes, and a cup of uh, diced uh, celery, Okay. And onion. And when those are good and tender, okay. then you add, and after it's boiling, uh, California vegetable mix. And you'll see this adds a lot of color. This is cauliflower, carrots, and broccoli. That's full in there, too. It's good and full and okay. a good hearty soup. But you still need just a little bit of something. So, standard soup. Cream of chicken soup, and you just add two cans to that. And of course, it's better. Uh, I turned the stove on here a little bit late. If this is boiling, and then the soup mixes right in, and then the other ingredient <coughs> that we will put in here and bring to a good rolling boil is one pound of Velveeta cheese. Oh. All cubed up in, in little cubes so that it will melt fast. I've pre-cut some of it. And, you know, cream of uh, chicken and mushroom soup and Velveeta cheese, if you have that as a staple in your uh, pantry, you can just come up with almost anything. And Velveeta cheese is something I like to cook with, but I don't like to eat it. Plain, I got Yeah, you. just plain. But when you come home, you can uh, start your potatoes and carrots and onions, and by the time you get in, change your clothes and get back, it's ready for this. So within 30 minutes, you can have a, a good pot of soup ready for your family. It is colorful, it's healthy, and uh, you can reheat it, uh, you know, for the next day if you have any left over. And what I have done before is after it's a day old or two days old, and I just don't want soup anymore. I bake a potato, a good big baked potato, split it in half, and then pour some soup over it. On top of it, make a big cheesy potato. That sounds yeah. awesome. So, that is my secret for uh, cheese soup. When you first start saying cheese, you think of a cheese, nothing in it. But that is cheese soup. It's a cheese vegetable soup for sure. All right, let's get you guys the recipe at home. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville, 28803. And don't forget to check us out on Pinterest. Brenda, thanks so much. That sounds amazing and very easy. Just put all those ingredients together and you're good. You're good. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina Kitchen.